That was really good. That was nice. Good, good jiu-jitsu there, man. Good attack. Nice display. It's going to be some good matchups for uh, oh, the finals, too. Shameless plug right there. That was good. What's that? This guy was, like, tying his shoes right in front of the camera and then popped up some the patches right there. <laughs> I have you missed that. I, I'm not even going to explain these things to you anymore. You need to pay attention to them. And we got some... Uh, looks like these guys may be lightweights. I'm not sure what their D-patch situation is here. You get a read on that competitor on the left there. Is that a real... Can you tell, can you tell, I can't tell. what that patch is right there? Says we had AD. issues with this patch last time. We couldn't identify it. It made perfect sense when we, re we figured it out. I just can't think. It looks like an AB. Hmm. <laughs> Good job doing the knee shield there. Keeping his opponent away. Got the whole grip fight going on. This is a uh, master one round. We'll get you some names here. I feel like at this level, you got to get these guys' names out there. This, oh, this is uh, Robert Arnold from AB MMA. And uh, I believe he's going up against Nick. I'm sorry, he is going up against Cliff Sabral from Clever Jiu Jitsu. And then we will be followed up with, um, after this, we will see Gustavo Fonseca from Art of Jiu-Jitsu, Mendez Brothers, and he'll be going up against Nick Wilson from Waza BJJ. Good match so far. It's 0-0, zero zero, about four and a half minutes left. The nice guard replacement right there. I like. Some nice Jiu-Jitsu on display right now. Man. Do you feel like the brown belt division has gotten better even since the time that you were a brown belt? Yeah. It seems like it's come up a notch, man. It's just uh, in America, jiu-jitsu level, it's just jiu-jitsu period has been more and more refined. As you get more high-level competitors, more high, it makes more high-level coaches, instructors, uh, better schools, more access to more information, it just makes it better. I mean, that, that was the edge that Brazil had. Is it, it was there, that was the home of Brazilian jiu-jitsu. They had all the information and a and a jujitsu. They had they had jujitsu schools like we have Starbucks out here. Like you just yeah. walk walk down the street and find pick one. The you know, that's how it was. Back back when we started, it was like oh nice. We were lucky. Like I said, we were lucky to have a blue belt yeah. around that could teach us. And now right. it's like now it's like whatever. Mostly janky, you know. Yeah. But now nice every collar grip. black belt's everywhere now. You like that climb? Looks like he's trying of setting up a little uh, sneaky choke there. He may just be trying to threaten it. I like to set that loop choke up from the guard just to threaten. And just then keeping that on. head down, though. He's holding yeah. the head down. We've been working on this uh, all month at our school. He's got that underhook yeah. on the arm there. A lot of people don't like the terminology, but he, oh, no, it's not a zombie through. Teach the high guard, pull the head, zombie through, get their hand on the mat, start working from there. Got a nice, nice deep grip on the collar. He's working, he's practicing. He's trying to get that. The competitor on bottom, he's doing a, a real nice job of switching his side. He's not just trying to stick to one side. Sometimes you'll see guys, which is the lower levels, just stick, you know, really good on the right side. Yeah. Or only good on the left side. He's, he's changing up. We've seen him go left, right, left several times now. Be interesting to see how Robert Arnold from AB MMA is on the bottom. He's doing a real good oh, job keeping that posture there. down. Very good. Cliff Sabro is from Clever Jiu-Jitsu, and he's uh, he's doing a good job of not not panicking, not overreacting. Sometimes the overreaction is where you get somebody. You put a hand yeah. under their leg, and they flip out, and then you yeah. get a sweep. They're still tied up with two minutes left. It's an eight-minute match. Nice. Open the guard. Got his knee over. He's back in like a knee shield style setup. Oh, oh, nice, sweet. Nice, for sweet. Beautiful. nice reversal. And it's going for the choke right away. And no no points, huh? Picked up an advantage. I guess uh, he's going to have to get to the back or he's going to have always No, I think right he's going to get those points for that choke. Beautiful. He's waiting for him to transition before he gives him points. Nice. He's going to give him deep. points. Oh, no, he let it go. Good. 
And this is where there you really you start to see the difference when guys go, I'm not going to hold on to this. Now's the time to transition. I'm going to move off of it. Nice. Word up. I like his top control. He's like closing off all the spaces that he, the bottom guy needs to move, but also keeping himself mobile. Yeah. A lot of people, they do a good job of sealing off, but they keep their knees on the ground and they kind of limit their own movement on top. All right. He's staying on the attack. He was going for the arm right now and then transition to the back. Yeah, Robert Arnold's doing a real nice job. Maybe in the A, A, B, M, M, A. We got four points for the back. So we've got, how eight. do we get eight? We got two. You got the sweep. And then you got a uh, neon belly. Okay, and then that's you how got we got the other two. Yeah. Sweet. About 40 seconds left here. Look at what he's trying to do. He's trying to crank that heel hook with his with his uh, figure forward legs. You see that? Yeah. It's the old kung fu oh, trick. Yeah, yeah. Switches. Chuck Walker style. C dub. And you got to be careful with the C dub because he'll catch it on you if you're not careful. Yeah, if you're like, oh, that's cheesy. He's not going to get that. Then you're tapping or you got a hurt ankle. <laughs> oh, man. I really like Robert Arnold. There's an arm lock right there. He yeah. doesn't have to oh. wait. Oh. He let that go. Good. Did he let that? I think, I think uh, Nick Sabro pulled out of that is what happened. And he still games about two seconds left. Don't stop until it's over, bud. Nice job, man. Awesome. Well, at least this guy broke in his uh, crispy new white gi. <laughs> good job there. Good victory to Robert Arnold from AB MMA. That was really good because he was actually, if you, if you didn't know what you're looking at, you're looking at a guy who might have been in a, in a, in deficit, uh, in trouble down there. And then he just stood patient, waited for his moment. When he reversed it, and then he went full on. And racked up points on the way, too. Oh, yeah. And we got uh, Gustavo Fonseca coming up. And he's from the Art of Jiu-Jitsu, Mendez Brothers. And he'll be